Today I will show you whether using a heat mat to improve germination is really helpful. Stay tuned! Hello and welcome back to Greenberry's Garden. Here yeah, I'm still alive and I will start my ultimate germination series with a heat mat. And this episode is not sponsored in any way, so I purchased these two heat mats myself. And when you purchase a heat mat, I, I only paid 12 euros, which is about 10 dollars. You just plug it in and then you wait for some time. Uh, and you will notice that it will get uh, a bit more flexible. Because if you if you try to, to move it too much at the beginning, then something might break, I think. So just have to wait a bit. And when you think it's flexible enough, as it gets warmer, then you can just put it on the table. Maybe, maybe I would actually um, wait a bit longer than shown here. But just to show you the temperature of the heat mat, which is quite interesting. So it's about 95 degrees Fahrenheit, which is equivalent to around 33 degrees Celsius, which is really quite warm. But still, it works very well for me. So and now to test whether using a heat mat is really useful, I have prepared some seeds. And let me just show you the seeds. Uh, I think I'll take off the cover so that you can see it better. Okay, there we go. So I have selected kidney beans, some peas, that's a jack bean, a peanut, some morning glory seeds and some tomato seeds. And I've got them twice because I need to test, well, both of them, in two different small greenhouses. So I will label one of the greenhouse with warm. And I've got a second one. And I will label this with cold. So that I know which one is which, which, well, doesn't really make sense because one is on the heat mat and one not, but this is the new greenhouse and you can see it's made from plastics, so the old ones I used were some cardboard. So as the soil I used some cocoa peat with around 30% sand, which makes it very easy to just um, remove the seedlings from it because of the sand. So they cannot stick as well and as I only need uh, well yeah six compartments here I will just add the soil to six of them so this is the first greenhouse and the same for the second greenhouse so this Plastic uh, trays are really very helpful because you can just reuse them with a cardboard uh, trays. They just get wet and y you can't really reuse them. Okay, now it's gone. Okay, here is the first and the second greenhouse. And of course, uh, well, if you know me, I've created some special labels. So for kidney bean, pea, peanut, morning glory and the tomato seeds. And let me just stick them in very fast so that you don't even see it. Yeah, and now let's plant the seeds. And if you look closely you will see that I, um, that I place the jack bean upside down. Which is uh, really quite funny if you, if you see what happens later. Okay, so there's a peanut. So these are special seed peanuts, so you, you can't use the roasted peanuts, of course. Tomato seeds. Okay, 
And now I'll add some sand, which has a, uh, yeah, two um, advantages. One is that I can see whether the soil is still wet enough. And also it uh, prevents fungus gnats from smelling the soil actually. So uh, at least for me that worked quite well. Now let's water all of the seeds so that they have enough water to germinate. Okay, there we go, and now let's put the cold and warm covers on it. And now, after 28 hours, this is the warm one, nothing. So, for the cold greenhouse, we also see nothing. No change, nothing at all. So you can see the seeds because the, the sand was removed a bit by uh, watering it. So after 41 hours on in the cold greenhouse we see a bit of germination happening with a morning glory. But look at that! So in the warm greenhouse, the kidney bean. Anything else? Oh! Just have a look at the morning glory. Morning glory always uh, germinates so, so fast. Now after 50 hours, which is roughly more than two days, the morning glory in the cold greenhouse has also started showing us some leaves. In the warm greenhouse, the kidney beans are starting to grow. And the morning glory is far, far taller. And now, after 66 hours, in the cold greenhouse, we only see the morning glory. And now, in the warm one, we see the kidney beans, which is very impressive. And you also see the jack bean has started germinating. And morning glory, it's, it's always so fast. Now, still later, 90 hours later, so we see morning glory, the cold greenhouse and, and the warm one. Just look at that and that. Look at these two kidney beans, I think two or three. And also the jack bean. It's really impressive how fast this this goes and morning glory just grows taller and taller. And now 114 hours later in the cold greenhouse we see Morning Glory. Nothing else. And what happened in the warm greenhouse? Look at that! Isn't that a huge difference? I think kidney beans really love the warm uh, soil. And we also see some pea seedling. And the jack bean. That's actually a root. Nothing with a peanut. And now 138 hours later, I've removed Morning Glory already because it's, it's too large for this tiny greenhouse. And I've also removed here the um, kidney bean, but the jack bean, you see the root? It's actually growing in the wrong direction. And now, 195 hours from the beginning, we see some small seedling in the cold greenhouse for the tomato. And the warm greenhouse, now look at that! And we also see the pea seedling and the jack bean root. And now you probably understand why I always use a heat mat for improving germination. So I highly recommend doing this as well, it's such an improvement. See you next time, bye!